Hey everyone, so this is going to be like kind of a raw vlog because I don't have any makeup on right now, I just took it off. Um, I actually just used this little like sample I got from Sally's, it's the Freya Makeup Removing Towelette, looks like that. It got it off, it got my makeup off pretty well. Um, yeah, so, whatever. Um, but, this should probably go on my makeup channel, but I don't really feel like it because it's not a lot. But I got my MAC Wonder Woman collection stuff today. And I got the lipstick in Marky D. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But it's just like, it's like pretty much my lip color. But it just has shimmers in it. And it makes my lips look really nice. I love how it makes my, lip look, my, my lips look. I don't know if you can really tell. You can't really tell. It makes my lips look awesome. And I got the much wanted... Mighty Aphrodite blush. Um, this sold out once online, and I got it like as soon as it came back, pretty much. So, it's so pretty, so pretty. I'm so excited that I got this and didn't just settle for the Amazon Princess one, because this one is so pretty. The other one's kind of like more plummy, and I don't look good in plummy colors. I look better in like pinks because of um, just the way my skin is. I look better in pinks. And I got these two CoverGirl Lip Perfection lipsticks. I got Temptress and Heavenly. So, um, yeah. That's the Marky D swatch, and that's Heavenly, and that's Temptress. Temptress is, like, this really, really, really bright pink, and I, I don't think I've ever had a lipstick this hot pink. It's, like, almost like Narcissus by NYX, but it's a little bit less intense. It's not quite as bright. It's not, like, a neon pink, but it's still pretty bright. And then Heavenly is more toned down and kind of like a nudie mauve color, so it's really pretty. And I like them a lot. They're really good quality, surprisingly, for being, you know, like, covered girl. Um, also, I got my Teen Vogue this week, and this is, like, my first one ever because, um, I just got my subscription. I think it was through Forever 21, like, when I ordered online, they asked if I wanted um, a Teen Vogue subscription, at least I'm thinking, otherwise I don't know how I got a subscription, but, um, I'm ripping off my little address thing, because I don't want you guys to know where I live, but it has Lucy Hale on the front, and I was so excited that this is my first issue, and she was on the front, because she is my favorite actress of the moment, and I also like it because there's, um, the Kardashians, um, Kylie and, well, these are actually the Jenner, these are Kendall and Kylie Jenner, but it talks about growing up Kardashian and whatever, and I love the Kardashians. I love the Kardashians. And then there's, like, a thing on body image, which I'll talk about that in a second. And then there's Lucy Hale. And there's, like, a whole, you know, interview and article about her, so... Yeah, I love her. Has anyone ever seen the Paul and Joe makeup brand lipsticks? Let me see if you guys can see this. Right there. It's shaped like a cat. I don't know how you put that on, but that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. A lipstick shaped like a cat. Like, seriously? Seriously? Oh, it, it, it makes me so happy because I love cats. But anyways, um, as far as body image, let me talk about this for a second. Um... Basically, I gained three pounds over Super Bowl weekend, and I have not been able to, to I have not been able to lose it since I have been working. Oh, don't look at my chip nails; they're kind of awful. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, look at them. Take it in; they're awful. I'm gonna repaint them tonight. But um, I haven't like I've been working out like crazy, and I've been making sure that I don't go over 1,200 calories, and I've been making sure that I at least burn 200 calories per day, and, you know, like, I've been, I actually only had, like, one green tea. I need to start drinking more green tea and eating more celery. That's mostly, you know, I need to do more of that. And eating less starchy carbs, like, I need to stop eating so much bread. I eat so much bread. I love bread too much. But, um, also, I think the other thing is, is that I did too many toning exercises, and so I have all this muscle. And so since I have all this muscle, it's like my body just is like, it just keeps gaining muscle. 
and so muscle weighs more than fat, and so like, I'm just getting a lot of muscle, and it's making me weigh more, and I just, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to do a lot of cardio index month. I get, my family gets um, free membership to the YMCA. So we're going to work out there, and that's going to be exciting, because I actually get like a treadmill to run on, and like ellipticals, and they have a Zumba class there, and I'm really excited. So yeah, um... My goal weight right now was like 125, and if I hit that, I think my ultimate goal weight is 120, maybe 115. It just depends. I think 120 was, I mean, like, if I lose 10 pounds, I mean, even 5 pounds makes a big difference. So if I lose 10 pounds, I think I'll look alright. So, and that's like the proper, when you're 5'4", you're supposed to weigh, and you have a medium frame, I have a medium frame, I don't have a small frame. And I don't think I have a large frame either, I think, like, because they base it off your wrists, and my wrists are pretty, like, normal size. So, but they say that when you're 5'4 and you have a medium frame, you're supposed to weigh 120 pounds. So, yeah. I need to lose about 15 pounds, because I weigh 135. So, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Um, tomorrow, this whole weekend, I'm going on, like, a fruits and veggies fast. I'm just getting fruits and vegetables and drink lots of diet Snapple metabolism green tea and eat some celery and carrots and cherries and stuff. Um, except for breakfast, I think I might have special K. Not sure yet. I haven't decided. But I think so because I just want to start off my day with something kind of filling and then just go the rest of the day with fruits and vegetables. And also, going ice skating and according to my fitness pal if I go ice skating and I ice skate for two hours like the whole time I'm there I will burn like 800 calories and then if I do Zumba in the morning basically um what did it say it said that if I did Zumba in the morning it doesn't actually have Zumba on there you have to put like dancing general and put how long you did it because basically Zumba is just like dancing and um But if I do Zumba for 45 minutes, which is how long the tape is, and I do ice skating for two hours, and I do a Wii Fit free run for 10 minutes, I will burn 1,109 calories. And tomorrow, my, calor my caloric intake that I plan on eating is... 675 so let's see I had um for breakfast Kroger low fat not Kroger they just have like a Kroger brand but it's not actually Kroger brand but it's low fat milk one cup of low fat milk and three fourths cup of chocolatey delight special K and that's 220 calories 37 grams of carbs and 7 grams of fat 8 10 grams of protein and then for lunch, I was going to have a salad with balsamic vinaigrette dressing and carrots and cherries. And then for dinner, I was going to, well, for dinner, I'm like, I'm just going to have a little snack before I go t to ice skating. And I was going to have celery and um, a snapple and broccoli. I might throw in like a turkey sandwich, but I'm not sure. And then um, for snacks, I was just going to have like 10 saltine crackers probably need to eat a little bit more, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, so I'm trying to go about this the healthy way, but the healthy way is not working out right now, so I need to lower my calories that I take in, and I need to boost the calories that I burn, so we'll see how that works. It might also be that time of the month, so yeah, but anyways, I will talk to you guys later, because this vlog is really long, and yeah. Bye.